Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this new QVMD video in which we are going to learn about themes. So whenever you give a specific color that needs to be applied to all the elements in our application, it is known as a theme. So for example, if we specify a theme color as green, our buttons, navigation drawers, top bars and all the other elements will have the same color. This is useful because in material design, the app needs a theme color and if we have different colors for different elements, the app just looks weird. So inside our code, I've already added this MD rectangular flag button and I've added to our screen, which we learned how to do in the last video. So that shouldn't be a problem. And what we're going to do is we are going to add our theme inside this def build method and it has this argument of self. So what is this self refer to? So this self refers to the mobile application that we are building. So because we want to change the theme of our mobile application that we are building, that is why we are going to refer to this self and change the theme of this self over here. So how do you do that? You just write self dot theme CLS because we want to change the theme. And now we need to specify a specific color for our theme or a specific palette for our theme. So we can just call it primary and underscore palette. Make sure you don't mess up the spelling of palette. A lot of people do. And then it requires the color that we need for right now. I'm just going to call it green and let's format everything properly. And now let's run this main dot pie file and see if our button has turned to green. So you know, you can see that our theme is of green color. Now, if we add any kind of elements, for example, the top bar or the navigation bar, they will also be of the green color. So how many colors are available in our primary palettes? For knowing that, you can just go to my GitHub, github.com, atrayabhat, kvmd-basics and go to the fourth video called themes and click on it and just go to the notes.txt file and you'll be able to see that the color options in primary palette are over here. So let's try out a different color. So for example, let's try out this yellow color. It looks pretty good. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here. And now let's reload it. And you can see that our button has changed to yellow. You can also specify how dark or how light your theme is. So you can see yellow color over here. We can make it lighter or we can even make it darker. And that changing of color is known as the hue. So what we are going to do is I'm just going to go over here. And again, we are going to refer to the app that we are building and we are going to call our theme underscore CLS. And then instead of primary palette, we are just going to write primary underscore hue because we want to change the darkness or the lightness of the color. And over here, we are going to specify a number. And if you want to see what kind of numbers are available over here, you can just go to the GitHub code again. And there are the primary hue options. So let's try out the 100, which is a very light color. So let's go back to our code and instead of uh, nothing, we're just going to put in 100 and let's reload it and you'll be able to see that our yellow has suddenly became really, really light and you can't even actually see it. So let's try out a different hue. Let's try out the darkest version A700. So we are just going to copy this and paste this inside our code and let's reload it and see how it looks. It should look really, really dark and you can see this yellow color is really, really popping up. Now we can also change the background color and that is known as the background theme color of our application. It has two options, dark or light. And these changing of colors is also known as the theme style. So we have two theme styles, dark or light. And changing that is also pretty easy. We just write self.themecls just like we have already been doing. And instead of primary, we are going to use our theme style. So we're going to write theme underscore style. And it has just two parameters. The default option that we are currently using is the light theme. So to change our theme style to a dark version, we can just write inside double quotes dark with a capital D. Make sure the D is capital. And now let's reload it and you'll be able to see that the background suddenly becomes really, really dark. And actually the yellow color really goes with the black. So if you want a color combination, you can always use that. All right, guys. So this was pretty much it for this video. In this video, we learned how to change our theme color of our buttons and all the different elements which we haven't learned how to add yet. But learning theme was really, really important for future videos. In the next video, we are going to learn how to take input from our user. So I'll see you over there.